Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron's troubleshooting video series features how to troubleshoot your Dosatron D14 MZ2 14 GPM injector. The three key areas to troubleshooting are, number one, the injector is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, number two, the injector is clicking but water is going down into the tank, or number three, the injector isn't clicking. The first two are the most common. If the injector is clicking but not drawing, or it is pushing liquid down into the tank, the issue is in the stem area. While the unit is still installed, turn the water on. Remove the suction hose nut and suction hose and check to see if you feel suction on your finger. If so, just cut a half inch off your suction hose and reattach. Also, make sure the strainer is clear of debris. If you don't feel suction on your finger, turn the water off Release pressure by pressing the air bleed button and remove the dosatron. Unscrew the injection stem nut and pull the stem straight out from the body. Set the nut and stem aside. Unscrew and remove the bell housing and pull the piston out of the body. Set the bell housing and body aside. Hold the piston and inspect the plunger seal for nicks, grooves, or wear. You can test the plunger seal by inserting the plunger down into the stem. When you pull it out, it should make a pop sound. If not, or if you see damage, it is definitely time to replace the plunger seal. To change, roll the seal off and install the new one. Now pick up the black stem, Unscrew and remove the check valve nut. Pull the check valve straight out. It may be a bit snug, but it will slide out. Set the stem aside and grasp the white retainer and twist it a quarter turn counterclockwise to release the check valve parts. Once you have the parts out, make sure they are not damaged, gummy, sticky, or missing. If the parts are dirty, you can just clean and reinstall them. If you see damage or parts are missing, it is time to replace. Remember to keep these parts clean and in good shape so your check valve will do its job and not allow water to go down into your solution tank. To reassemble, put the cone into the top of the barb. Next, slide the spring over the shaft and position the top guide over the shaft. Align the guide and twist it a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Give it a tug to make sure everything is in position. Reinstall the check valve assembly into the stem. Then, reinstall the check valve nut. Insert the piston into the body and replace the bell housing, hand tight. Align the notches in the lower part of the body with the teeth on the top of the injection stem assembly and reinstall the nut hand tight. One last thing, take a look at the top of the suction hose. If it flares out, cut an inch or so off and reinstall. Or if the suction hose is cracked, rigid, or looks really old, just replace it. Thread the suction hose nut onto the hose, slide it onto the barb, and hand tighten the nut. Make sure to set your injector to the desired setting. If the injector isn't clicking, remove the blue bell housing and pull the piston straight out. Visually inspect the upper and lower white flanges on the piston shell. If they are worn or have scratches, the flanges need to be replaced. Another way to check the flanges is by doing a fit test. To test the upper flange, invert the piston and insert it into the blue bell housing. It should fit snugly.
To test the lower flange, remove the plunger by turning it a quarter turn counterclockwise and pulling it straight out. Now, insert the piston into the body. It should be a snug fit. If either is loose, the flanges need to be replaced. To replace the flanges, grasp and twist counterclockwise. Remove by lifting straight up. To reinstall, align the tooth inside the flange with the notch in the piston shell. Press it down into place and twist clockwise until it locks. The procedure is the same for the top and bottom flange. If anything is damaged or missing, replace the parts. Reinstall the plunger by aligning the top with the retainer. Press it in and turn a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Place the piston back into the body and reinstall the blue bell housing hand tight. That's all for now. We hope this video has been helpful in troubleshooting your Dosatron D14 MZ2 14 GPM injector. For more information, give us a call at 800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com. To see our other videos, check out our YouTube channel or the video link on our website. I'm Jason and this is Dosatron University.